all cruise lines are different and if you are going on a princess cruise for the first time these tips tricks and insider secrets will help you to save money and have a better cruise Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, I recently came back from, I think this was my 10th Princess Cruise. And you know what? A lot of things have changed. So even though I've done a video all about Princess Cruise tips and secrets, the fact is I have some new information to share with you. Whether you're a first time Princess Cruiser or a big Princess fan, this video will help you to know what to expect and I've included some helpful tips along the way. These are the things that I wish I knew if I was cruising with Princess for the very first time. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. What to expect when you're cruising on Princess Cruises. Princess Cruises is a premium cruise line. So it is in the same category as Holland America and Celebrity. And basically what you're going to find when you cruise with Princess is they are very beautiful and elegant cruise ships. Now their cruise ships have quite a few pools quite a few hot tubs, activities for people of all ages. And when you walk into a Princess cruise ship, you are going to see that the atrium, well, basically they call it a piazza, is really the hub of the cruise ship or like the heart of the cruise ship where a lot of different activities are going to take place. Now, while you're not gonna find water slides and race cars on a Princess cruise ship, there definitely is something for everyone. And the programming in terms of the activities during the day and the evening on Princess is quite good. Princess Cruises is also well known to have good itineraries, good food, and good service. Okay, so what I've done is I've divided this video up into about 20 different points or categories. So to start with, there are three different ways that you could book your Princess Cruise, or basically, three types of cruise fares. So you have the princess standard rate, which is basically your cruise only rate. Now there have been some changes that princess has made. So I will address these in the video and I will be talking about what currently is included with each type of package or cruise fare. Now you also have princess plus, and this is arguably very, very popular. Princess plus is available for $60 additional per person per day. And what's included in Princess Plus is your crew gratuities or your crew appreciation. You also get unlimited Wi-Fi of one device per guest and you get the Princess Plus beverage package. Now the Princess Plus beverage package is not only for alcohol, but it does include drinks up to 15 alcoholic drinks per day, but it does also include specialty coffees, specialty tea, energy drinks, blended juices, soft drinks, fresh juices, and more. Now, Princess Plus has gone through a few changes since its inception a couple of years ago, and now Princess Plus also includes two casual dining options. Now, the casual dining restaurants, depending on the cruise ship, include Alfredo's and Gigi's. It also includes O'Malley's, and it also includes Kai Sushi. Now, with Princess Plus, you also get Ocean Now delivery. This is basically delivery of food, drinks, and different products brought to you basically almost anywhere on the cruise ship. And you also do get free room service. Now, if you have the standard package, those things are extra. Now, in addition, you also get two complimentary fitness classes. We actually did a stretch lab class on our last Princess Cruise, really did enjoy it. You also get two premium desserts per day. I did try them, I could never eat two a day, but they were pretty decadent. And you do get unlimited juice and vegetable blends at the juice bar. Now, depending on how you cruise, the Princess Plus package can really be worth it and can be a great way to save money. Now, for those that like an even more all-inclusive type cruise, you do have Princess Premier. Princess Premier, by the way, is $80 per person per day. And what that includes is everything that is included in Princess Plus, well, plus more. So basically, when it comes to the beverage package, you get the Premier beverage package, and that includes drinks up to $20. The Wi-Fi, you get up to four devices rather than just one. You still get the crew appreciation. You also get 
to specialty dining restaurants. So if you would be going to those specialty restaurants anyway, this is fantastic. In terms of the casual dining, you have unlimited casual dining. You also get a photo package during your cruise. You get unlimited juice, of course. You get unlimited fitness classes. You get those premium desserts. You get a medallion accessory, a little bit more on the medallion later on in this video and you also get reserved seating for the production shows. Now, just like with Princess Plus, you do get the Ocean Now activation fee included, and you do also get complimentary room service. Now, if you do have the standard package, and this is definitely going to be the best rate available, and for some people, this is going to be really the best value, but you can still opt in to pay for room service. This is $5 per delivery, and you can also set up that one-time activation fee for $14.99 beverage packages. Now, something to note when you are cruising with Princess is honestly, it's not worth it to buy any of the beverage packages. The best value is going to be, if you're going to get a beverage package anyway, is to opt in to Princess Plus or Princess Premier. Bring a bottle of wine on embarkation day. So this is a really good way to save money or even just to bring your favorite wine that you like to drink. You can bring one bottle of wine per person on embarkation day. Now you can actually drink this in your cabin without any additional cost, but if you do bring your bottle of wine to the main dining room, you are going to have a corkage fee of $15. The medallion. Now Princess has had the medallion for a few years now, so I know a lot of people are aware of it, but basically the medallion replaces your cruise card. It definitely adds convenience because as you walk to your cabin, when you're within a few feet, well, basically the portal outside your cabin door is going to recognize you and is going to sort of unlatch or open that door. So it definitely allows you to go hands-free as you go into your cabin. Beyond that, you're going to also use your medallion when you leave the cruise ship, when you come back on. It's also what you're going to use to get drinks and pay for different items. Now, when you do get on board your Princess cruise ship, you are going to get a lanyard. That does come for free, but if you want, you can also purchase accessories. So they include wristbands, bracelets, clips, those are all pretty nice. And if you want, you could buy them before you get on your cruise on the Princess website, or you can buy them on board as well. Now, a little hack or a little tip is you can actually buy different accessories that are compatible on Amazon. And some people, what they like to do is actually use AirTag accessories. I will leave some links of some suggestions down below in the description of this video. Now, beyond the medallion itself, you do have an app that you can use on board. And by the way, if you're not really feeling like having your phone with you all the time when you're on the cruise, that is okay. There are also portals on the cruise that you can check the activities and some different things as well. But if you do use the app on your phone, that is where you can order items to your cabin or through the Ocean Now delivery to basically almost anywhere on the cruise ship. You can also take a look at your daily planner as well. Now, speaking of the daily planner, although it is available on your app and you can even make reservations, you will get a physical copy of the daily planner in your cabin as well. Maybe it is optional, but I've basically been getting it on my last couple of Princess Cruises. And in the past, it used to be called the Princess Patter, but I noticed on my recent sailing, it was just called the Event Listings. Please let me know if you have sailed with Princess before or you've sailed recently. Please let me know if that's a change that you noticed as well. The Love Boat. Now, if you used to watch The Love Boat, you probably will like some of the references that you might find on board Princess Cruises to The Love Boat, but in particular, there is the Love Boat Horn. This is very special and something to look at. Self-service laundry. Now, it might not sound like much, but if you've cruised on other cruise lines that don't have self-service laundry, you know that this is something that is pretty good. So if you want, you can actually do your laundry in the self-service laundrettes. You have a washing machine, you have a dryer, and you even have irons and ironing boards. So if you just wanna even iron something on board, you can do that. Now you could bring your own detergent or you can purchase it right there and you will be using your medallion to actually pay for it. Now, speaking of laundry and ironing, you might be wondering what is the dress code like on Princess Cruises. Well, like a lot of cruise lines, the dress code has really relaxed. So basically it's casual or smart casual, sort of resort style most of the time. 
and they do have formal nights as well. Now their formal nights have become a little bit less formal. You definitely still see people wearing suits or tuxedos, evening gowns, uh, cocktail dresses, but you also see people wearing a nice dress, a nice pair of pants for men, a nice shirt, so not necessarily true black tie formal. Now a little tip, on our cruise we had two formal nights, however on our first formal night I'd say more people dressed up for that one. On the second formal night it was a white and gold theme. Of course this was completely optional, but if you'd like to bring a white outfit this would look quite nice on a cruise as well. Now when it comes to your pre-cruise planning, I highly suggest that you make as many of the reservations that you really want to do, make them before your cruise. And in particular, this can actually be a money saver. So when I did book my spa appointment, I booked that before my cruise and I noticed that the prices, well, they were more expensive once we got on board. And when you book it pre-cruise, you'll actually see that sometimes the price is actually less for some of the different days when you're on your cruise. And you're even going to find that sometimes the pricing, even depending on the time that you go, will be different. So definitely take a look at this. And when it comes to shore excursions, in my experience, they've also been a little bit less expensive by booking them before the cruise. The Sanctuary. Now the Sanctuary onboard Princess cruise ships, well it is really popular with Princess cruise passengers and you can book a half a day, you can book a whole day, or you can book the entire week. It is really very nice, but something that you'll want to do is to reserve, you have to do this in person when you board your cruise. So even before you do your e-master, before you grab a drink, before you eat anything, when you get on board on embarkation day, head straight up to the Sanctuary because it does book out fast explore the cruise ship. Now something else you'll want to do also on embarkation day ideally is really explore the cruise ship. Princess cruise ships sometimes have some areas that well they may not be obvious and there are some people who didn't even realize that there was an adult only pool on their cruise ship for instance until the end of the cruise. So you don't want that to happen to you. So something to do is as soon as possible is walk all the way forward on the top deck. You might find an adult only retreat pool. That is such a beautiful area, but it's not necessarily obvious. Now also at the back of the cruise ship, you could find a really nice outdoor area where you could eat in back of the buffet. And many of the princess cruise ships have an aft pool as well. What food is actually included? on Princess Cruises, so there really is a lot. So the main dining room is included. You also have the International Cafe, and this is really casual, but very good food that is included. So there are sandwiches, there are sweet and savory snacks. Now also at the International Cafe, you can get coffee, but that is not included. So to get the included coffee, you would have to go to the buffet. Now beyond the International Cafe, the other casual options that you have is on most Princess cruise ships, you're also going to have a pizzeria that is poolside and you're going to have a burger grill as well. Now on the Lido deck, look out for the buffet. The buffet is going to be open for breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinner. And you'll find swirls, which is soft ice cream as well. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, although there is a $5 delivery fee for room service if you have the standard package, so it is included with Princess Plus and Princess Premier, but there is still free or complimentary room service that is available for breakfast with the breakfast card. Princess Cabins. Now something that you should know about Princess Cabins is they have this extremely large open closet and they also have sort of a cupboard with shelves. So those are great if you wanna put your packing cubes in and really a good big closet if you want to hang up things. You could even either put your luggage straight under your bed or you could even store it in your closet. It is really so roomy. Now when it comes to the cabins, they have super comfortable beds. I think they call them princess luxury beds and they honestly are some of the most comfortable mattresses and beds and linen that I've ever had on a cruise ship. So really nice. But something that you should know is that interior cabins, ocean view cabins, and even balcony cabins don't come standard with a small sofa or love seat. So you are gonna get a desk in there and it is still going to be a good amount of space, but in a standard balcony cabin, you are not going to have a sofa. So if you do wanna have a sofa or a love seat, you're going to wanna make sure that you do book a deluxe balcony cabin or above. Now, something that I love about Princess Cruises is they still have twice a day 
housekeeping. So really nice. So basically you have your morning cleaning and you also have a turn down service as well. Now, when it comes to your cabins, you can also get in your cabin, you can get free bathrobes. You might have to ask your cabin attendant or before you go, sometimes you can note this on your booking on the app. Towels. So sometimes people ask, are towels included on Princess Cruises, especially if you want to get off the cruise ship and go on excursions. So yes, you do get towels for use both on the Lido deck and you can bring them off the ship as well. Now you don't have to sign out for your towels the way you have to on some other cruise lines, but you do have to make sure that you do bring them back at the end of the day. Now, speaking of getting back on the cruise ship after a day in port, something that you are going to see with Princess Cruises is they do often have a booth set up where they have cold towels that they are giving you. This is really nice after a hot day and they do have citrus water as well. So it's a really nice welcome back. Activities and entertainment. So on Princess Cruise Ships, you're gonna find a lot of different types of entertainment, both during the day and during the evening. So especially in the Piazza, you'll often see a lot of different activities going. So you might have dancing with a live band, you might have activities, you might have demonstrations, you might have even line dancing or Zumba classes. In some of the different lounges, you'll find trivia, enrichment seminars, and even bingo. Now in the main pool area, you'll find that at different times of the day that you do have a DJ playing, or a live band, and you might have some different activities with the cruise passengers as well. Now, in addition to that, there is also a big screen that Princess calls Movies Under the Stars, and that's playing movies during the day, or sometimes it is a game or a concert or even exercise in the morning time. And in the evening time, you do have movies as well. So if you sometimes don't want to necessarily catch a Broadway show or go have a drink at a bar, but you wanna do something like just catch a movie, you can actually do that on your Princess Cruise. Now the evening entertainment on board Princess is quite varied. You'll have production shows, you'll have guest entertainers, you'll have live music, you'll have a piano bar. On our most recent cruise, we had an amazing duo that played in O'Malley's Irish Pub. Now, speaking of shows, you are going to want to get there early, especially if it is in a lounge. So make sure that you are there 15 to even 30 minutes in advance. Now I have one more tip and if you love food, then you're going to enjoy this one. And then I have some really good money saving tips that many of them you could use and you may not have known about. So when it comes to the food, now this is not included, this is specialty dining, but if you do have the Princess Premier package or even if you just want to do this a la carte, something that you might wanna try is some of the specialty dining restaurants. Now in particular, if your cruise ship has the catch by Rudy's, it is, I think now, maybe my all time favorite specialty restaurant. It is so good. Oh, I have a couple that I really like, but I absolutely love this one. And this is by Rudy Soderman. He is actually now the head of culinary arts for Princess Cruises, but we found all of the specialty restaurants, the Crown Grill, Sabatini's to be excellent. Money saving tips. Now, some of these you're going to actually need to take advantage of before you actually board your cruise. So the military benefit. Now, Princess, at the time that I'm filming this video, does have a military benefit program. And basically you can get anywhere from $50 to $250. Do take a look at the terms and conditions for that. Now you also have the refer a friend program. So if you have a friend that you think might want to sail with Princess and they have never before, then what you can do is you can actually fill out a form. It's on the Princess website. You can refer your friend. When they sail, you get $25 onboard credit and they get $25 onboard credit as well. Book with a travel agent. Now booking with a travel agent is a good way to not only get the same price that you'll get directly with Princess, sometimes you actually can get a better price as well, but you often will get extra amenities, including an onboard credit and a coupon book. The Princess Referral Program. Now this is different from the Refer a Friend, but basically if you are working with a Princess Vacation Planner, then what you can do is you can refer somebody to work with them. There's a form, like always, to fill out, but you can get an additional onboard credit for that. The Shareholder Credit. Now this is definitely a tip that a lot of Princess Cruisers or a lot of cruisers in general use is by being a shareholder for Carnival Corporation. Now, when you sail with Princess and some of the other lines within Carnival Corporation, as long as you have 100 shares 
of that carnival stock, then you do get an additional onboard credit as a shareholder benefit. Being a Captain Circle member. Now being a Captain Circle member just means that you are a past passenger with Princess and you are automatically enrolled, by the way, in this when you start cruising with Princess, but they do have early booking discounts. They do also have early access to some of their itineraries, which is a nice opportunity as well. Book on board to get a future cruise credit. Now, while you won't get a benefit on the cruise that you are on, it gives you a head start on the next cruise. So what you can do is you can put down a hundred dollar deposit per person towards a future cruise. And by the way, you do not need to book it right on that cruise ship. You could simply fill in a form and you can put in a deposit for an open booking, get home, and you could book it once you're home with your travel agent or online if you like. So you can make those decisions later, but you are going to get an extra onboard credit on your future cruise. Now I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know if you're a first time princess cruiser or if you've been on princess cruises before. And if you have sailed with princess, please share your extra tips and tricks down in the comments below because I know it is going to help other people. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.